Now let's look at another example. Write a log expression as sum and a difference of logarithm. So this is the expression we want to rewrite as the sum and the difference of log, right? So let, let's uh, analyze it, okay? Basic structure are the two. So it's a quotient, right? It's a numerator and then denominator. Right, so first we can write as the difference of two log. Right, there's a minus log a as the base, and then x cubed times x plus one to the fourth. Right, that's first we can write as a difference of two log, and then for the first term. Uh, it's like the last example, square root is the same as x squared plus 1 raised to the 1 half power. So 1 half can go as coefficient okay, or factor. And then now look at the second term. Second term is the product, right? The x cubed times x plus 1 to the fourth. So we can write this as the two term plus log a as the base x plus 1 to the fourth right and then those power we can write in front as the coefficient and then at the same time we can eliminate the negative sign so both two term in the parentheses should be negative that's a three right coefficient move to the front, and then the power of 4 goes to the front. I'm sorry, this should be negative sign. All right, so that's how we write as sum and a difference of the two. Okay, be careful the sign. Subtract this two term, so negative 1, distribute in. That's why both term, it should be minus sign, okay? And then this is the solution. And then each step, what property to apply? Okay. So what if we now do the backwards? Okay, giving you the sum difference of the logs, now can we write as a single logarithm? Okay, just the previous example actually we did backwards. All right, let's try a log a as the base of 7 plus 4 times log a as base of 3. So 4 in front is coefficient. Actually, we can go on the power, right? So that's log a as the base 7 plus log a as the base 3 times the 4 power. Okay, and then sum of the two log we can write as a single log since they have the same base, a, right? So log a is the base, 7 times 3 raised to the fourth power. And then we simplify, right? 7 times 3 to the fourth power, that's 81. 7 times 81, that's 567. That's how to write the sum of the two log as a single log. And then let's try B. Two third ln of eight minus ln of five square minus one. So we deal with each of the term. So two third, that's the coefficient we can write as the power, right? A raised to the two third power. That means the third roots, right? Third roots of eight and then raised to the second power. And the second term, we can simplify. 5 squared, that's 25. 25 minus 1, that's 24. Right. So first term, third root of 8, that's 2. 2 squared, that's 4. So we can write ln of 4 minus ln of 24. And then subtract 2 ln, we can uh, subtract the 2 log. We can write as the division, right? the quotient. So that's ln of 1 over 6. We simplify, right? 4 
divided by 24, we simplify as 1 over 6. 1 over 6, that's 6 raised to the 91 power, so 91 can go out. We write negative ln of 6. Okay, that's the B. <coughs> C. So this long expression. They all have the same base A, okay? We write base A. And then all the plus sign, that should be on the numerator, right? That's a multiply, and a subtract sign, that's a divide. So, I'm sorry. So we know the 5 will be on the denominator because here is the minus sign. And then the other x times 9 times x squared plus 1 should all on the numerator. All right? And then we just reorganize. The coefficient should be first and then x times x squared plus 1. Okay, that's how we write as a single. So log of the sum, that's the product, right? The difference, that's the quotient. So that's why plus sign, those should be on a numerator. And the subtract, that's on the denominator. So we can look at a solution, okay? <clears throat> and the solution, each step, uh, what property apply, okay, is all right on the right hand side. So you can look at it. 